In between all of the garden work and maintenance, it can be easy to lose track of our tools and maybe neglect them sometimes. In today's video, we're gonna show you guys a quick and easy homemade recipe that's gonna get rid of all of the rust on your pruners, shears, and other garden tools that you have around the house. Not only that, but Katie's got an extra bonus that we're gonna have in today's video for you guys. Not only are we using our homemade recipe, but we're also using the store-bought rust remover, and we're going to compare the two of them for you guys. You guys are gonna love this one. It's so easy to make and is a great way to remove all the rust and to get your tools shining like new again. Let's go and take a look at what we need to complete this process. What we're gonna need for this project is distilled white vinegar, paper towels, rusty tools, and a sanding block, or you can use steel wool, or what was the other one? You can use a steel wool or steel brush if you don't have a sanding block but we just happened to see this in the garage and I thought it would be perfect for getting into these tight spaces uh, on the tools because you've got some nice edges here on the sanding block. So that's a good option that you can use. Um, we're gonna show you guys a couple of different methods today. This first method is going to be using 100% white distilled vinegar. It's not diluted at all. All we have to do is take the tools and spray them down with your white distilled vinegar. Make sure you get that vinegar everywhere. Just totally cover your entire tool with that. Katie, can you do that last one? Um, with these loppers right here, we're going to be using that store-bought rust remover to kind of give you a comparison um, on how that works. After you have soaked your tools, what you then want to do is just wrap them up with paper towel. And then spray down that paper towel again. Flipping it around, making sure that it's contacting your tool and then set it in your tub or container, whatever you, you might be using. I definitely recommend using a tub for this. That way we can close it up afterwards and uh, keep all of that white distilled vinegar in there and it's not gonna be evaporating off of our tools. You let these sit in the container for two to three hours. Cover that up. Spray away. Oh, Whoa, it's coming off already. Okay. okay, now we're gonna let that sit. Uh, that says to let it sit for five minutes. So just to be safe, we're gonna do like five to 10 minutes because it's some pretty thick rust on this one and uh, then we'll see what the results are. You need to clean and maintain your gardening tools because if you don't and you go and prune your plants, you'll end up giving them disease. Yep, it's really important to keep your tools clean when working in the garden. Not only that, but cleaning them and maintaining them is also gonna help increase the longevity of your tools. Like our Felco pruners will last a lifetime as long as we take care of them. So let's go and see how this store-bought rust remover is taking care of our pruners here. So right here, we are going to take our sanding block and rub the circular motions, if at all possible, until we can get all that stuff off of there. Now, I tell you right off the bat, it's not doing a fantastic job. And a lot of that rust is still really, really stuck on there. This is doing an okay job at this really light surface rust. As you can see there, if we kept on scrubbing that away, most of that stuff is gonna come off. But on some of this thicker rust, um, it's a different type of metal on here. The rust on that is just not coming off at all. 
Um, I'm gonna try getting a steel brush and seeing if that works. Well, it's a little better, but still didn't get it off. All right, well, I'm going to clean these off and kind of conclude that that rust remover really didn't do its job. So that's a no-go for the rust remover, and we've yet to see the results on the white distilled vinegar. I have to say, I think the white vinegar will work better because vinegar hasn't disappointed me. Yep, you can use vinegar for so <laughs> many different things around the house. It's an essential. You've got to have vinegar in the house. Uh, we will check back with you guys in two hours and see how these tools look. All right, it's been two and a half hours. We got to do this quick because it's now raining outside. So let's unpack them. I can see a bunch of rust on the yeah, paper is. towels. All right, let's do some scraping. Oh my god. That's crazy. There's no freaking way. No way. You guys gotta look at this. Look at that. Yeah, this was completely covered in rust and uh, it took it right off. That's so hard to do so much. Oh, that worked better. Okay, use a wire brush. Forget about this smooth sander. Maybe for a final coat, but this works great. You can like feel it rubbing right. off. Yeah, that comes right off. Wow. Those were totally covered in rust before we did this. Now you can see I the shine of that original metal just like new guys. As you can tell by our rust covered paper towels, this worked pretty well. Yep, definitely. And after you guys are doing this, what you wanna do then is either take like WD-40 or a mineral oil and you can coat your entire tool with that and that's gonna help seal it up and keep this coat uh, stronger for many years to come is gonna help prevent the rusting. So that's it for today's video. I was really surprised with the results. I hope you guys were too, and definitely try this at home. Thank you all so much for watching, and happy gardening.